Okay, Mark, we've got PXG's Gen 6 0311 XP. Yep, this is uh, the next version of Gen Gen 6, actually, right? So relatively traditional-looking club uh, from the front as far as the shape and all that stuff. And that's obviously put in the game improvement category. It's a pretty big head. Um, and it's got a lot of, you know, it's got a fair amount of meat to it. I mean, this is a hollow club, uh, but there's a lot of hollow in here. Um, they, do, they do have obviously gone to, you know, a single screw a little more. These were... You know, the, the multiple screws is kind of a cool idea. I think it was a copy of me doing wedges like that a million years ago, <laughs> and several people have followed. But, uh, you know, they didn't actually, we weren't able to adjust these much, right? Yeah. They were kind of locked in there, and they couldn't do much. But the big one in the middle, you can adjust for some way, which is fantastic. The builders love that, right? You've yeah. got lots of flexibility. I think that's a great change. You know, yeah. like you said, that you, the old ones were locked tied in, you couldn't get them out, and you'd strip them, and these things, they, they send them to you not even screwed in. Because right. you're going to really awesome. awesome. That's just great. It, yeah. it really does work well. And, you know, it's a relatively thick sole. It looks thinner because of the black thing on it, but if you actually measured it front to back, I'd say it's kind of in the middle of the game improvement yeah. line is about how wide it is. Uh, it's a relatively flat sole, too. It's got a little camera to it, but not a ton. Yep. Um, and it's not a bad-looking golf club when you sit on the ground. The longer irons, you do start to see the back because mm -hmm. um, they're pretty oh, big right. and chunky. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just in a three and a four. Well, it wasn't a, four, it was a three, but a four iron. Um, but, you know, I tell you what, they're long. That's it. Uh, so, right? That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> you know, what category is this? Well, this is a distance game improvement club. Yes, right. Yeah, with an explanation on the distance. So yeah. we're seeing 173 out of an 80-mile-an-hour club. So that's a lot. Yeah, I mean, I swing a, a seven iron like 82 or 83, and I don't sniff that no. <laughs> ever. And we've got toe, middle, and heel pretty much all get in there, too. Yeah, so yeah that's, anything at the center is actually pretty forgiving. You know, obviously, you get you know way out there in the low heel and nasty spots, obviously, not so good. But, uh, you know, in the, in the meat of the club, it's long. It's long. So let's let's take a look at these numbers here. So obviously, 173 carry overall. Um, we only give it the overall because it's a half inch test. Uh, and, and with this kind of distance, you'd probably see good players struggling to control that front to back kind of yeah, uh, maybe distance a little bit because the spin's down. Right. So we are seeing the trade-off stopping power there. One of the lowest stopping powers, one of the lowest spin launches. Yeah, one of the longest clubs and the lowest stopping powers. Yeah, that makes sense to some extent. But if, you, yeah. you know, if you're a, a mid-high handicap and you need distance and you're playing you know, a flattish golf course in Florida or whatever, you got no forced carries and rolling it up to the greens, you know, this will work. And you'll have one less club in your hand. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. Yeah, seven iron instead of a, a six iron for Probably sure. works out. Yep. No, I do like what they've done. PXG have done some really good stuff with the irons. They're long. Um, you well, know, the six generation six is, is, is a marked improvement, right? So yeah. they've done, you know, generation one, two. And sometimes we see a pretty good, you know, a, a, an incremental change. It's, it's substantial. Sometimes we see it's a tiny change, right? There's maybe cosmetics for the most part or whatever. But this one actually... Uh, they've, and the Gen 6, they've actually, you know, amped the game up a bit. Yeah, I like it. Thanks, Mark. Cheers.